Check this out. That's the first time this ever happened. Take your moment. We're, we're going to stand here a long time. They're photographers. Cody. One of our own. And it just dies on arrival. Choose your Kool-Aid safely, carefully, and wisely. Thank you, guys. New people, welcome to the open stage. I, I got news. It's the strangest thing you're ever going to do. And newbies and Firefly shirts are awesome. Okay. Right, regroup and continue. That's what he said to do. Um, it's the coolest thing you're ever going to be a part of, and it's going to keep getting weirder. And I know you're really stranged out, and it seems kind of cultish right now. That's an accurate feeling. Just, just go, yeah, pretty much go with that. Be freaked out. We had to have something that looked like fruit punch night. It just had to happen. The community punch bowl brought to you by Alicia, who is acting photographer this evening. Speaking of which, as long as we're rolling and going, I have, I have terrible news. Bobby Hitt will not be with us breaking his all-time record streak of being here for every single open stage. But let me tell you why. He has a case of the zombie plague, and he decided not to infect us, and that I appreciate. Yeah! Bobby said, you know, provided he's done eating brains, he will be back next week, and he'll be back doing what he does. In the meantime, we've got our, our, our guys and our girls here taking pictures so you guys can all say cheese. Yay! There it is. All right, and Mark, I see you hiding back there. Hi. Okay. <laughs> meanwhile, I want to talk about the weekend because... I, I'm digging this past weekend. Um, I love those made-up holidays. You know, Circus Day, Juggling Day, Barefooted Llama Day, any, any kind of weird made-up holiday, because I, I'm going to be honest, the, the usual ones, the Thanksgiving, Arbor Day, these things really just don't mean a lot to me. But Contact Juggling Day, which was last Sunday, <laughs> now that personally means a lot, because that was my, that was my first circus art. That was my first thing. All, all of it started with that, creepy little ball that I couldn't put down for like three years. And along the way to it, I, I found all of this, which was completely awesome. The second annual uh, World Contact Juggling Day was this year. First year I got to teach workshops in Boston at StrollerCon, and it was awesome. And I was all fired up about doing it again, and I was really slammed, and I didn't find a place to do it. And I was then thinking, well, I'll just go out to the park and I'll get a bunch of people to go with me. And then it rained like we've needed so badly for the last six months. And, and I was just good with it. But I was, I was a little mopey. You know, I'm suddenly, instead of, hey, I'm going to change the world and teach workshops and share my flow, I'm going to do my laundry and make, you know, sausages or something. Just cook around my house. Make vegetable stock in my house. It's kind of lame. But I found myself eventually putting on some good music and pulling out my spheres and all by myself, I was contact juggling on contact juggling day. And it was awesome. And I realized a big thing. I wasn't rehearsing. And I wasn't performing or practicing or trying really hard things. I was trying to figure out what the hell I was doing. And for the first time in a very long time, I was playing. That is, if I remember correctly, our initial mission before we got to doing all of this was to rediscover play. And I actually had that light up my brain moment where I did. I actually found myself playing and said, whoa, it feels like this for the first time since the very beginning. And that was the most awesome thing I could possibly imagine. But what was more exciting than that was this other thought I had was the realization that all performance, all of this stuff we've been doing here on Monday nights for months, all the shows we're doing, they're just the polished presentation of that same play I was doing on my living room floor. That performance is nothing more than the polished sharing of play. Clean it up, put a nice costume on it, take it out, and give it to everyone else. And I kind of refound my mission over the weekend. I kind of refound it. And I just wanted to share that with everybody tonight to start the show.